Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how you can access the hidden Photoshop Elements Quick Mask Mode to easily do tricks like this one right here. Let me just undo that. There, mask. There you go. Where you can fade out a color part of a picture out into a nice black and white. This is a real easy trick that's done simply in the Photoshop Elements Quick Mask Mode. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share. The more likes and shares I get, the more videos I can do. Also, make sure you subscribe so you won't miss out on any future videos. And take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. The Photoshop Elements Quick Mask Mode is real easy to use. It's ideal for things like this. and You can actually paint the mask right onto your picture as you go. Now to get this mode, it's kind of hidden. There used to be a way to access that in much earlier versions of Photoshop Elements. Nowadays you can't find it at all, but it is there. Let me show you how you do that. I'll just go over here and I'll delete these two layers right here. Just get rid of those. So here's our basic image, just a standard color image. I'll take the background and make a copy of this. Duplicate layer. I'll do that once and I'll do it a second time. Right click and duplicate layer. I'm doing that so I can hide the original down here just as a safety. So that's just a hidden layer. Let's hide the top layer. This layer here will make this into a black and white. So go up to enhance. Come down to convert to black and white right here. And then here you can choose how you want this to look. And all you really need here is just to go through the different styles here and find the one that looks nice. And I think the urban snapshot looks pretty good right there. If you want, you can do more adjustment down here, but I don't think it's needed. I just want it kind of darkish in the background, not too contrasty, and that works out fine, the urban snapshots. So I'll choose OK. So there's our black and white. Let's now bring up our foreground color image. Now what we want to do is we want to put a layer mask onto this layer and then put this into quick mask mode so we can then easily just paint that mask right on the layer. And here's how you do it. First add a layer mask. Click on your layer mask button right there. There it is. Now we need to go inside of the layer mask. And to do that, hold the Alt key down and then click on the layer mask. What you'll see is the white layer mask in here. Now grab your paintbrush. And I have mine set here. I'll make it a bit smaller, kind of like that, about a 200 pixel brush. I'm just going to make this one stroke right over here. Make sure you're on your layer mask side. It should look like that. Now go back over to your image side, double click, and that stroke should appear in red. There you go. Now we're in quick mask mode. Now go back over to the layer mask side. Just click on the layer mask side. Look for that light blue outline. So we're on the layer mask side now we can work in quick mask mode. And there it is. There's your quick mask. And all you have to do is just come in and paint over your image anywhere where you want that mask. The nice thing about this mode is that red mask that we're seeing in here makes it real easy to see what we're doing. So it, it makes it much easier on things like this where we're just changing the background coloration and then just kind of work your way around. Now, of course, there are other ways of doing this trick. You can use other techniques. You can use you know, your standard selections and refine edge and all of that stuff. But for a real fast technique where you can easily see what you're doing, this is a great tool. Or if you're used to using much older versions of Photoshop Elements and you kind of miss this trick, since it's really hidden here in the new version, then you can just go ahead and do the same thing. So it allows you to work in the quick mask mode. And there we go. That's all you have to do. Now to get out of quick mask mode, just click on a different layer and you're outside. And there it is. There's our little fade out from our color image to that black and white in behind. Okay, let me just show you this one more time because it can be a little bit confusing. I'm going to just remove this mask over here. I'll delete that layer mask. And let's just delete it. There we go. Okay, so you have your two layers, the black and white layer in behind and your color layer on top where you want to make your Quick mask, add a layer mask, there's your layer mask button right there. It'll be in white. Hold the Alt key down and click on that mask. That will take you inside the layer mask. You're just seeing just that white. Make a brush stroke anywhere on that, just someplace in the area that you will be masking so it's not a problem. 
Then click over to the image side, double click like that, and you should see red. If you're seeing red here, then you are inside of that quick mask mode. Now just click back over onto your layer mask, look for your light blue outline, make sure you're there, and then paint away in this real nice, easy to use quick mask mode. And again, to get out of this, just click on any other layer and you're outside again. So there it is, that's how you can access the hidden Photoshop Elements quick mask mode. Now if you like this fun Photoshop Elements tip, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe as well. While you're subscribing, hit that bell icon twice so you'll get notifications of my new videos. And take a look at my complete training course. And again, there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, and I'll see you next time.